Victoria and I have done a few videos on the Yamaha XT250 and the WR250R. We thought it would be fun to show you some riding footage of where we take these bikes. As you'll see, both bikes are very capable of doing anything in the dirt, from fast, wide open public roads to trails through the woods. If you're in the market for a small bore dual sport, these bikes are definitely worth your consideration. We're going to show you easier stuff first and work our way to the harder terrain. This road here in New Milford, Connecticut is perfect for a big bike and a 250 alike. On the 250s it's easy, and that's the appeal for me. Riding in beautiful places and not breaking a sweat. For me, with a bigger bike, I'm standing a lot. It's work. Not with these 250s. You can see on some of these more wide open sections that the XT is very capable at higher speeds when the road conditions allow it. There's not a dirt section we've seen in New England where you need more than 50 miles an hour. As we move more into the woods in the two track, the 250s do real well here. We don't need to blast through anything, but they handle the terrain with a lot of confidence. Here you don't have to worry about picking any lines. The bikes don't get out of sorts. If you lose a little traction, you gain it quickly and keep going. Here we are moving into terrain that is more suited to the hero sections of the backcountry discovery routes. This mud hole here is super deceptive. The mud is really deep. I got my WR stuck on the opposite side of this hole two weeks before. Sideways on me. In these sections with the rocks, both 250s do real well. As with any dual sport, it's key to keep your momentum up and let the suspension take you over the bumps and obstacles. You have to pick some of your lines, but both of these bikes are really forgiving if you get off track a little bit. I felt complete confidence riding in these conditions. This last section is more like a trail than an unmaintained road. The toughest sections are coming up, which are large rocks that would be pretty difficult on bigger bikes. Here the weight of the 250s and the suspension travel is key. You have to pick a line and just go up and over. After 
After we finished the hardest sections, we had to deal with a tree that blocked the trail. Victoria brought along a saw, we made short work of it. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions about either the WR or the XT250. We'll link some of our videos here at the end.